Well, hey, welcome everybody to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Ken Close. Here we are at uh, what, September 26, 2023. Um, and I'm excited to have another opportunity to serve you guys. I'm joined tonight by um, the head of operations, Jake Barron. How are you doing, Jake? Good, good. How are one? Hello, hello, everybody. And we've got Anthony this evening um, in the background in the chat from our customer service department. Thank you, Anthony, for being here. Um, so, guys, if you guys haven't been to a Tech Tip Tuesday before, man, you've been missing out. So where have you been? I'm glad you're here tonight. Um, again, like I said, my name's Ken Close. I am a member just like most of you guys. Uh, I've been with Healy for uh, almost four years now. Uh, my background is in engineering. And I uh, get the opportunity to experiment and play with Healy all the time. I love it. And um, so what we do here is a chat-based forum where everybody comes in, puts their questions in the chat. And then uh, myself, Jake, uh, and Anthony in the background with his lightning fingers will be unpacking those questions, answering them, and uh, solving the mysteries you may have. <laughs> Uh, what we can't do is, is we can't talk about any diseases or preventions, uh, diagnostics, or any treatments around any kind of uh, disorders within the body. We're not doctors. Uh, there is an amazing app for that, and we can talk about that if that comes up. Uh, but we can talk about the applications, the theories, the, the concepts around um, the modalities, uh, and any troubles you're having. How's that sound? Sounds perfect to me, Ken. Oh. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's get this party started. Uh, let's see if we have anything going on in the chat. It's kind of quiet already, um, but people are still coming in, so that's cool. Waiting for us to kick things off, I guess. I know, right? I, it's all right. That's um, I'm excited about <laughs> that. Hey, yeah. um, hope you guys are going to tune in this week to, um, uh, well, coming up, actually, to the Frequency Friday, by the way. Uh, when is that? October 2nd? Yes, yeah. um, noon Eastern on Monday, October 2nd. Yeah, there is some cool stuff coming up, folks, in terms of um, a demo um, protocol. So excited about that. Yeah, and actually, while we're, while we're on this topic, I was going to hold on a second here. So... Even before Monday, October 2nd, um, we have two separate, very important Zoom meetings tomorrow, actually. Um, you may have received email invitation for um, for these. One of them went out earlier, and I think one just went out now, but it's been shared in some of our, our social media groups and things like that. But so first, at 11.11 11 Eastern time tomorrow morning, uh, there's a special 30-minute coherence meditation with Marcus Schmika, uh, which is going to be amazing. So um, the, if, you, if you're if you on your, your device here, you can just scan this QR code um, and register for that for tomorrow, again, 11.11 11 Eastern time. And then later at our normal what's up wednesday time at 1 p.m eastern we've got a great call uh we got the whole the whole corporate team coming in here we got christian dorner our ceo uh luciano our coo and martin whitman our cpo are all gonna share important very exciting updates about um the future of healy um and, and what everything we have going on the momentum the strength the planned product rollouts um, and it's, it's really is an, an amazing time to be a part of Healy and especially when you realize what's, what's coming next, because we're, the focus is on the future here and, and continuing to roll out more and more new features, new products, new apps, things to, to help everybody just, you know, make their, their, the help the share Healy easier with everybody else and make all of our products um, that much more easy to use to get the most benefits out of them as well. And as Ken said, um, frequencies and friends for sure. There'll be some more talk about that demo, uh, Healy demo app. But Martin Whitman's going to share a little bit about it also tomorrow on this call too. So definitely for the for the for the meditation with Marcus, you need to register for that one. But for the What's Up Wednesday one, 
um, you can use that, that QR code um, that takes you right to that meeting. You don't need to register for that one. So. I'm all registered. I'm ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah Marcus. I'm registered gonna... three times because I'm excited <laughs> about it. <laughs> Registered, registered, registered. Yeah. And yeah. and so we're going to have an opportunity to join in with our coherence program, whether you're running on your Mag Healy or your Healy. Um, everybody definitely turn them on, make sure you're charged up and um, we'll, we'll broadcast that signal out into the, uh, into the field. Um, so, yay. All right. Let's see. We do have a question here. It says, Hey guys, is it possible to run the blue app frequencies while the Healy's on the charger and Anthony's got his lightning fingers going there. And yes, it is actually, <laughs> it is. In fact, um, you know, it will tell you when you try to do it from the pink app or the microcurrent app, if it's plugged in and you try to run or try to load a program, it will say, Nope, sorry, you can't do that. I, I want to say, I want to tell you why. I mean, think about this for a minute when we're running the blue app and it's plugged in, um, the the Healy hardware is not attached to you, right? You can run it. It's running via the information field um, and as well as transmitting frequencies very diligently uh, into the into the client or to the client towards that intention. But with the pink app, you might be connected via the electrodes. I like to use the electrodes all the time. I have the wristbands on. I like to use that microcurrent. And it, this this device was designed uh, as a medical device, and so there are certain design parameters. It's not a good idea for the um, personal end user to have a device that attaches to us electronically and the outlet. <laughs> okay, so the outlet itself, in other words, the the power that you know is running your house. Um, and so you'll notice that the cabinet, uh, the casing of the Healy is designed so you can't plug in the uh, wires and the power cord at the same time. It's made that way on purpose. So you you can't accidentally connect yourself. And in some case of some odd power um, surge or lightning, lightning strike. Lightning strike or whatever, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because I'll tell you something, in, in terms of lightning strikes or static discharges, I've read articles and seen studies where static energy or electrical energy can move across a room from outlet to outlet during some of these high energy storms. So you don't want anything plugged into that. That's also connected to your body. Okay. Um, and this is no different than say having a heating pad right on your body when it's plugged in during an electrical storm, it's not connected to your body, but it still has an indu inductive um, um, potential. So anyway, that's uh, that's why. So you don't have it plugged in. You cannot operate it when you're using the microcurrent, but you sure certainly can with the blue app. All right, sounds good. And uh, while we're talking about this charging topic, the next question related says, should you keep your Healy on the charger at all times? And no, <laughs> nope. you know that I remember. I think it was last week or the week before. Someone asked, should you? automatically charge your Healy once it falls below 50%. And again, the answer to that was no, you want to go through that full discharge cycle and fully charge the Healy device as well. Charge it fully, um, let it completely run out and repeat that cycle for, for optimal battery performance in life. So. Let's look at it this way. Um, even a light bulb has a life expectancy, right? And so the number of times you turn it on and off um, it goes through what we would call in the electronics uh, world, a cycle. And um, so if you turn it on and only and off, you know, and you only use that light for five minutes, irregardless if it's five minutes or five hours, it's still a cycle. And so it's that, sh that rate of change and that change of parameters uh, that the light bulb's being um, subjected to that actually shortens its life expectancy. So the same thing with say the, a battery. Um, if you're constantly cycling it, but you're only cycling it a little bit, in other words, you're plugging into the charger, cycling the battery, right, to a new voltage, and then unplugging it and letting it go down to some other voltage. It's every cycle, and you're only doing that, say, um, you know, you're doing it in 30 minute increment increments instead of three hour increments. You're and, and if that battery has a cycle life, in other words, max cycles, um, you're going to shorten the amount of time it's going to last for you. 
So it's better to use it fully, charge it fully, use it fully, charge it fully, and so on. I'm not saying that you can't sometimes. No, I mean, it's not going to hurt it. It's what you do most of the time that's that's relevant. Yeah, and you'll you'll notice a lot of the the newer phones, like especially the iPhone, you'll you'll see it has a there's a special section about the battery health and charging, and it has certain algorithms where it won't charge it fully unless you actually like need it. So it's it's kind of trying to keep it in this this healthy range um, as well. You can you can usually toggle that that setting on and off, but it'll it'll tell you the maximum battery percentage now versus when you when you originally had it because over time it does. Um, mm -hmm. diminish some there too. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, it tracks. Uh, so there's software now that is tracking the life of the battery and the, and your habits uh, in terms of how you charge and discharge it. So, um, so I highly recommend even with your smart devices, discharge them all the way and then plug them in all the way and turn them off on a daily basis, turn them off, um, turn them back on. It's not, it's, it's a good idea to turn them off, charge them, let them be a, all by themselves somewhere off, <laughs> charge them up. And then uh, when you wake up the next day, start back to that process again. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Um, here's a question, I think. Uh, so it says, um, I have a question regarding the all Healy programs. Um, could you give a general overview of what this program does does this program scan all non-resonance programs? Um, and how does it decide which programs that you need most? Um, so I, I like this question already so far because this is pretty cool stuff. Um, the reason I asked is because often when uh, I will run this and for example, get a 50% in skin, uh, 40 in watch, et cetera. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about the percentages too when um, in answering this question because it's uh, there's a lot of relevance here. Um, ongoing with this question, it says that um, I go to the skin program, nothing shows more than 40%. However, um, I'll go to a different program and um, the in that list, the Healy programs analysis, say for instance, like sleep and the feedback says 74%. Fine. Okay. So let's open this up for a second. The All Healy Programs is a database. Okay, so within the blue app, um, when you're doing a scan, it the 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 software knows who you are because you're the client, right? It knows the blueprint of you because it's connected to the information field, the quantum field. What it doesn't know is how do you want to answer your needs. Okay. In other words, um, there's a perfect blueprint of you within the quantum field. Then there's the physical three-dimensional you in space and time. And I guarantee you the three-dimensional you in space and time has some flaws. And I don't like that word, not flaws. Dissonance, separation between the perfect version and the three-dimensional version. So the, the last piece of the equation is, well, what database or what modality would you like to try to bridge that gap and so in the blue app it says all healy programs okay well that's a gets a database and so it's going to take all the healy programs now 300 plus <laughs> programs right amongst 17 how many 18 pages do we have jake i don't know we have a lot of pages yeah. up to 12 programs per page so that's inclusive into that all healy program database now when you do a scan it takes the top five pages, the pages. Now, remember I said there's up to 12 per page. Mm -hmm. So it takes the top five pages because anytime you choose a database, it's going to take the top five um, agencies of that database, whatever the database is. If it's Bachflower, it'll pick the top five Bachflower. If it's um, uh, if it's I, I Ching, it's going to pick the top five. Um, whatever the database is, it's going to pick the top five within all that database. So then you're going to get a very specific relevance reading. Um, those, those five it picks, it's going to prioritize the, prioritize them in order, in a percentage. It assigns in a, a percentage. And I encourage you guys not to get so hung up on the percentage. And I, I hear this all the time. People are like, yeah, but it's, it's, it's 95%. <laughs> well, the significance here is the order. 
It's the order. So in it's in order of priority. On that top five, um, if it's if it's 40%, that's the first one. 39 is the second, 37, 22, and 18, right? It's in that order of priority that you that you would run anything to help you with. Okay. So what that means is is that um now you have an entire page that is signed a priority, a percentage. That's great, but when you go and run that one page, um, you know, you're you're getting a, a plethora of programs and a, an enormous amount of of frequencies per program because not only do you have um, the potential of 12 programs per page, but each program on that page has the potential of analyzing up to three, 400 frequencies to find out what was necessary for you or the modality of that one program's purpose. So my recommendation is, is that once you've found those five pages, then you do five more scans in, on individual pages so the thing, and, and you did this, I can tell because your, your answer there or your questions, you did this. And then each page is going to net you another top five programs on that page in order of uh, an assigned percentage. Again, it could be higher percentage than the original um, net values that you got. So maybe the whole page, um, when it did that first initial scan, each page only had the top of say 40%, 37, 35, 20, and so on. But then when you scan the individual pages, it says 75% relevant on the first one, 74, you know, 68, and so on and so on. It's because it's just simply drilling down the significance of, of the necessities. Still just a priority system. Um, the higher the percentage, yeah, probably, not probably, the higher the relevance within your life of the content in that program. Okay. Um, but I, I wouldn't get hung up on those percentages, say the full page versus the individual programs on that page and how that, um, uh, how the, the meaning assigned to that. It's still a priority. In fact, I was just on, I was on a call this earlier today with Martin Whitman, who's our chief product officer, which like Jake said, he he's going to be on there tomorrow. He talks about that because there was this this similar question came up, like you know these percentages, and he says, you know what, I know, I get it, but don't get so hung up on those percentages. And I I have been saying the same thing and do agree um, that it is a sequence of events or a sequence of priorities as opposed to just the numbers. Um, I write those numbers down when I do a scan. I will write the percentage and I will write the program name. Um, all that stuff down when I do a scan for somebody. Um, but I don't necessarily use the percentage as something um, when I'm coaching them because uh, yeah, 75% uh, relevancy versus 40% relevancy is a higher in relevancy, um, but it's not necessarily, mm, it's not an equal um, basis in, in my opinion, as far as. Um, yeah. That, and I mean, you, I don't, there's not really <laughs> much to add. And that was a great <laughs> uh, answer, but yeah, just, just, I, it happens to me all the time. You know, it's almost unusual. If you get a really high relevancy on say an all Healy programs group, you go and scan just that program group. It's not, I, I would say it's not common for there to be one that's 60 or 70% within that group itself, uh, there might be more equal distribution there. But you know, it was interesting when um, when Rachel said that she, if she scans a program group that didn't come back in her top five, and then within that group, there's something that's say seventy four percent. Okay, that's that just means within that specific program group that didn't come back in your top five that that one program is important, but not necessarily the thing that you need most overall. When looking at all the Healy program groups available, just within that one program group, that that one is is important for you. You know, it's interesting. We would uh, if we we get a scan and we are, you know, we we there's a program that comes up that says something like skin, and some of our symptoms might be um, headaches or 
uh, some other physical things that are going on with our body. And we don't see what's the relevance of skin. And it's interesting that the, remember these frequencies, Healy, Healy uses a frequency range of, of 0 0.01 or it's a very, very small, basically one tenth or one hundredth of a frequency or of a Hertz all the way up to a million Hertz. And it, and it takes each individual frequency and splits it up. So there's like over 9 million uh, variances uh, in, in terms of frequencies available by Healy. And each one of these frequencies, it can speak to multiple facets of you, right? Skin and maybe how the body's using um, water intracellular wise um, because of uh, maybe a deficiency in um, electrolytes or something. So, and, and, and to address the skin, because skin is a way of moisture to move in and out of the body, right? Our respiration, um, our perspiration, I mean, our perspiration is a way of, of releasing. Um, and then absorption is also goes into the body through the skin. So um, I just, I, I, I've stopped questioning a lot of that. Um, I used to, I'm an engineer. <laughs> I question all kinds of stuff. And I was looking at, I was looking at all of the variances and trying to track all that kind of stuff. And and I finally got to a point where I'm like, okay, I, I, I see the principle. I understand the principle. And if something comes up and it's a high percentage and something else comes up, and it's a low percentage. Understand that you're probably doing some work yourself within your life, uh, whether it's diet, exercise, resting cycles, whatever, that's relevant to the success of your health. And so there's going to be a program that's going to be less relevant because it's you, it knows you're doing some work for yourself, right? So um, it's, it, anyway, I hope that helped uh, because it's it's fun, a lot of fun to take a look at these and dissect them, and um, and then sometimes it's it's easier just to go with it. <laughs> but no, I like it when people ask me. I I have this question all the time, all the time, you know. Why is this higher? And I guarantee you, if you did the scan exactly the same in the next moment, it won't be the same because you're a different you every second to the tune of 800,000 cells per second, recreating themselves in you every second. So it's taken a whole new, you know, analysis. All right. What else do we got here? Um, I see some. Let's see, Anthony. I think the, some... the last part of that question was oh. said that they heard that you don't want to vibrate more than six analyze app programs per day. So, how does the all Healy programs analysis factor into this number? So, I have actually never heard the six thrown out there as a number. It might be someone on your team that hey, this is a their general recommendation, but you'll notice. The Analyze app doesn't necessarily have like an official recommendation like microcurrent does. You know, you don't want to you gotta be a bit more careful with microcurrent as far as the number of programs per day. But the Analyze app is it's kind of where the one where you need to listen to your your body. I mean, with, with both with both microcurrent and for vibrating them as well. But there was, I think, more flexibility for that because, you know, some people run these programs for just seconds at a time or a minute or two at a time, but multiple times per day, maybe five, six, seven times, depending on the type of type of topic that they're working on. But then other people might run it for a little bit longer duration, but just, you know, one, two, three times per day. So kind of you, I don't know that there's a, a set number really for. No, you said it well, because I, I, I'm, I'm constantly saying, and I'm an advocate for listen to your body. Really allow yourself to pay attention to these bodies. Remember, these bodies have a language. It's not the same um, broad vocabulary that we have in terms of the verbal word, but the body does have uh, a language, a vocabulary. And um, so sometimes when you feel achy, right, and you've been running six or seven or eight programs on your body, that's a detox uh, modality. It's it's 
what happens to our bodies is we, we our bodies store toxic burden uh, in the form of emotions, in the form of chemistry, um, in the form of um, solid mass. Um, our body stores this and its job, the body's job is to keep it away from the brain. <laughs> the brain is the orchestra leader, right? It, in, in everything that these bodies do is to protect the brain. Um, and so, so by keeping things away from uh, out of that blood brain barrier, um, and storing them in the body, that's, well, it's the better of all the evils. <laughs> um, so when we start to release those, because frequencies, when we start to get our body to, to vibrate or to, I should say, to, um, match a frequency of healing, all of those lower vibrational frequency stuff like chemicals and bad emotions and, and um, heavy metals and stuff, they start to shake loose. And when they shake loose, they wind up back into your bloodstream or back into your nervous system. And then your body has to then eliminate them. And like I mentioned before, the skin is one of the ways that it does that by uh, perspiration, by emission. So it is our breath. As we exhale water particles, it gets rid of stuff. So uh, of course, uh, other elimination modalities, um, tears, by the way, awesome elimination modality, by the way, for emotions. I guarantee you, if you take and you look at the genetic code from a, 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 the, the saline, the, the, uh, the water of the tear, if you could read, well, you can, if we read the genetic code for a tear from sadness versus a tear from joy, they have a different code. And that elimination is part of the body's process uh, of, of getting rid of energy. And I know, why do you tear up when you're laughing? Well, it's because sometimes that energy is a lot and it needs to release. And so <laughs> you laugh yourself into tears. That's a good thing, uh, but your body has to get rid of it. So my point here is, is that um, too much of anything can still be too much. Pay attention to your body. The reason microcurrent has a limit is because it's a very tangible infusion into the body. And microcurrent um, is, uh, it increases ATP production by up to 500% within the body. And ATP is the actual energy that, that every function in your body utilizes to do something, to, to move a muscle, to, to activate one muscle cell takes 2 million molecules of ATP per second, per second. Now that's a lot, right? Well, I think it seems like a lot, but when you're looking at the very tiny, it's not, <laughs> but that's a lot of, of energy needed. Okay. So, um, so, so when you're running microcurrent, you're increasing ATP, you're increasing energy. Um, and if you're not going out and you don't have a grounding protocol to help your body to bring, bring itself back to balance, um, there's residual stuff. And so, um, yeah, listen to your body. The, the blue dot though, does not have, um, the, the advisor, uh, or the analysis app does not have a limit, but still listen to your body. Okay. All right. Sorry about that long answer. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, where are we? And we have a, I'd never had this asked before, but <laughs> Toby, I already answered it in the chat, but Toby had a question. Um, you know, instead of dialing in via, say, the Zoom app, I wanted to just call in. You know, there's a call in feature as well, too, uh, where you can dial just by phone. And the problem was you can't, that you can't type in tech tip because you just have to use the, the numbers there. And I actually, I, I had not really ever looked at this, but I went into our Zoom and there is a separate numerical passcode um, if you are dialing in via phone. And it's, I put it in the chat, it's 848-9712. So uh, if you're on the road and just want to kind of listen in, uh, you can you can use that option. It's a great, great tip there. So yeah, in, in, the, uh, in the whole overall invitation, there are two uh, links and two passcodes. One is for you know just getting in mm -hmm. as uh, as a viewer, and the other is for the phone, uh, which yeah does have that its own code there. So yeah, awesome to bring that out, guys, because yeah. it's, it's not always highlighted. You know. <clears throat> okay. 
Let's see. Uh, Izzy's got a question for us here on the new blue app with the uh, with the me button. Um, it lists your formal name, uh, whatever whatever address you registered with. I've noticed that my scans are totally different than if I go into myself as a client that um, imported from back in the old blue app, which has the name I go by. And my current address, the scans are mostly consistent under me and under myself as a client, I set up. So this is a good point um, because that's kind of like the UPS, like GPS, but the universal positioning system. Um, when you put yourself in as a client or when you put yourself in as, as me, and I like this, I would put us, we need to do a suggestion here because um, the blue app does take the content from your account and create your me, um, your me client, you, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and if your account has some different content, say for instance, your legal name, like my legal name is Kenneth, but I go by Ken on as a client in my app, um, because I always encourage people to put in the names that the world knows you by, you know, um, so accuracy could be, um, I should say not accuracy, but, but variances, um, can be relevant there. So I, I, I like your idea or your workaround by putting yourself in as a client, but I wonder Jake that. Yeah. I mean, there, I mean, there's no, there's no, I don't think there's any reason why you, you couldn't do that. Just put yourself in as, as a client. Um, if that's the most current up-to-date information if it's a if it's a matter of you know the address that you put in when you first registered with healy a couple of years ago is no longer you can you can you can have that updated you know you can use our our live chat feature or submit a support ticket and get that updated to the current information if there's something slightly off with your name that kind of thing too uh we can we can assist with for sure as well so um but yeah you know there's that information because now that everything is sort of um, linked together and more and more so going forward with this whole single sign-on where once you're, there's like a, a link between all the different platforms that that data can't be edited here because it's going to affect all the other stuff um, in, in the other apps as well. But if it's a matter of getting more accurate information into that me section, we can certainly, our customer care team can certainly help with that. But yeah, I don't, you know, feel free to, to add it also as as a client. I mean, it, in the old Analyze app, everybody was a client. Uh, this is kind of a new feature where you're separated out, which is nice. You know, if you're working with a lot of clients, you have your own sort of <laughs> own section there, your own home for for all your stuff. But yeah, I, I don't see. I, I would suggest I would suggest the edit feature <laughs> um, for that me. You know, being yeah. able to edit that because here's another comment here where someone. Uh, and I've seen this before, and this was a cult. I don't know if this was a because it you know was a German company trying to transition over into the American stuff. But I got a, I saw a lot of stuff referred to email wise and such as Mister or a mail version um, within correspondence from Healy. It's getting better. It's better now, but early on when I first started, it was a lot of uh, mail references um as defaults and here's somebody in here who says that the system has them down as a male and they are a female so that's gonna be a you know a definite need for uh editing in your account yeah we our customer care team can certainly help with with that topic there too um mm -hmm. and yeah as kenny mentioned you know there's feedback certain features that you'd like to, to see added, use that send feedback option that's inside of the, the new Analyze app. And, you know, Martin Whitman on the call earlier today, and you know, he might mention it again tomorrow, you know, we have we have received a lot of feedback and we continue to receive feedback. And some of the recent updates have addressed some of the issues or, you know, things that people wanted to be to be updated to fix a few little little minor issues that some people were, were facing um, and was because of, feedback we received you know not everything that's been submitted has been 
addressed yet because it kind of gets rolled out over time, you know, phased in over updates over a you know extended period of time. It can't all be added in as once, but certainly continue to to use that feedback option. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned too, uh, when you are putting your content in as a client, uh, even if it's yourself, to make sure that those references are um, accurate to the current you. So in other words, you know, uh, the picture, put a, put a current picture in there, um, you know, because I know maybe you want to look good, right? And you've got something from your teens that looks more amazing than your 30s, <laughs> but that's not going to be exactly accurate. So I, I would highly recommend that um, the content, the picture and, and your name, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, if you go by, if the world knows you, let's say, you know, your, your name was, um, was um, Victoria and everybody calls you Tori, right? Your whole world, your whole life, you've always been nicknamed as Tori, you know, then that's what you put in. You put in how the world knows you. Um, and, and then, you know, this comes into the point where we start talking about gender, as I was saying before, um, you know, these, these things shift perhaps. But the information field, folks, um, there are biological, physical imprints that these bodies uh, took on way early uh, before they came here, before it came into solid matter. Um, and then, you know, over time, um, it expanded. And so there is a blueprint for you. And I, I names are... Uh, or how we're referred to and pictures do change, but there is a basic blueprint, the biology inside your body, um, the systems inside your body. Uh, there are certain organs that are different between a male and a female, right? And the functionality um, of all of these systems are, are different based on our core, our core blueprint. So it's important that we pay attention to that no matter what physical stance we're placing ourselves in right now, pay close attention to that because you're, you're looked at from an, a universal uh, quantum blueprint. All right. I don't want to get into, you know, rights or any of that kind of stuff. I don't want to get into that, but I'm just saying that um, I, I don't make up these rules. <laughs> Universal law is universal law. It is a, it is completely objective, not subjective. All right. Not based on our human opinions. Okay. Let's see here. And, and Izzy's also saying that her address is an issue because she's mobile. Um, I don't have, the documents they want to change it so that's within your account um I, I, again your workaround is just being a client and working everything from there would be right now would be the probably the best best answer okay what else we got jake here let's see We had a question about how to access live chat. Anthony put that in there, but yeah, live chat is available 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern via the, both the U.S. shop and the Canada shop. So if you go to canada.healy.shop or us.healy.shop, between those hours, uh, you'll be in the bottom right corner, you'll see a little icon and it says Healy or Healy America's live chat or I forget, <laughs> live chat beta testing, something like that. Click on that and you'll be able to um, be connected with one of our, you can pick which department you want to speak to, customer care or tech support, um, and they'll be happy to help. And for any of you that are uh, trying to take advantage of some of these great promos we have going on that end um, Saturday at 7.59 p.m. Eastern time, our, we're going to have um, several people from our team working from live chat from 12 to 8 p.m. on Saturday as well for any last minute assistance there that's awesome okay um let's see here's one i have a question in the blue app all medicinal ones are doubled how can i 
uh, erase one of the Bach flower, homeopathic um, Alaska, and so on. I submitted a ticket, but support center said they could not solve it. Um, whenever I share my screen, there's always a question from the customer. Why all the doubles? I've seen this too. Log out. Um, try logging out of the app. All right. Shut down your device, shut them back on, log back in. See if the logging out, in and out. Um, I've seen this as well, where I've gotten some doubles and um, I've logged out. Um, if you have more than one Healy, uh, try, well, it, it's on the blue app, so it's associated with your account. Um, but I would log out of your account and reset and see if, you're, um, if that goes away. Also, um, I'm assuming you are using the Heal Advisor Analyze 2 app. Is that correct? Hopefully. Um, if you're not, definitely load that new app and use it from there. And don't just log in and out once. And do it a few times and see how that goes. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. So I think... Anthony's already asking or answering this, but there is a question here about what's the reason while using the pink app um, request to scan a QR code. And, and when we're looking at in technology, QR codes are just um, mini little programs and it allows a, a software, um, an app or something like that to take in a lot of content from just a QR code. Instead of you typing in the numbers, right, that might be associated with that item, um, the QR code does it for you, essentially just saving the time. So that's what it's for. Um, let's see. So Izzy says, that's what you've been doing or scanning in both. It's a great, I mean, set yourself up as a client and then also use your me account um, and see those differences. There will be some. Okay. Let's see. So I got Yeah, I mean just just keep in mind when you're when you probably were already aware, but when you're doing that, once you know the results from one scan, it would influence the results from the next one. Knowing those results, looking through them, um, that's why you two scans are never going to be the same because you can't duplicate you can't replicate that exact moment in time. Um, because of everything is constantly changing. So it's it, it's it's tricky to be able to, <laughs> if, if you're trying to, to look at one and compare, okay, well, let me see what this one looks like now. And that's why it's not recommended to do multiple scans over and over again over a short period of time either. So, Right. Like I said, 800,000 cells per second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not the same yeah. second after don't, second. Don't, don't keep scanning until you find some results that you like <laughs> <laughs> right the point the point of these scans is to to align misalignments and so um that is a objective task when you keep scanning over and over again you're trying to create a subjective outcome that's that's not fair <laughs> right all right um so here's a question I got, looks like came directly to me was where in the back office can I find the three choices? In other words, the pricing on the blue um, analysis usage starting October 1st, you can't, <laughs> right? It's not, it's not active yet. Um, yeah, it has, it has not gone live yet. Um, so there is no document. Actually, it, I think it may have been there a couple months ago, but it, I don't, it's still not final, final. And keep in mind, anybody that joins October 1st or later, they're not actually going to be charged for anything until at least six months later because everybody gets six months free of the professional plan. So we're really talking, you know, into March, April 2024 before anybody would actually be charged there. So, And there is a free option if someone wants to just continue to use, you know, just a few a few clients, that kind of thing. Um, there is no requirement to have to pay just to use the app. Um, for any of the, some of the higher storage, uh, there's a there's a small fee associated with that, but um, yeah, it's, 
it, it will eventually <laughs> be available there for everyone to to see. And yeah. it will be available, I believe, on the Healy shop for the editions that come with the the um the analyze app. All right. Uh so Eva's saying that uh she's got doubles there too. So uh so give that again that that log out, log in, log in a, a couple of times, give that a try. Um, and sometimes you're going to, so sometimes the influence from the server is going to put them back. <laughs> uh, so I've seen that. I, I look at that on my account all the time. And so, uh, you know, I do that. The, the one of the, one of the most effective ways of correcting a uh, incorrect program is by deleting it <laughs> or shutting it off um because that does realign a lot of the logic circuitry and uh this is all digital information so log out log back in all right um it it, it is the same content by the way when you have those doubles it's the same information and but i can see how if you're doing a live presentation and sharing your screen how you know someone who doesn't have that was going to have questions all right. Um, what else we got, Jake? We got any new ones here? Let's see. Um, let's see. Thank you all. So there's lots of thank yous, by the way. You're welcome, everybody. I appreciate your 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 gratitude. That's awesome. I love gratitude. Um, oh, there was a question further up. I don't think we got to, but the it was about you know the about you need to be more uh, more careful with running microcurrent programs as far as the number per day. The question was if you run the same program twice in one day via microcurrent, does that count as two or one? So <laughs> I, I like the I like the idea, the, the thought behind it that maybe you can run a little bit more if it's the same program, but no, that would count as as two. <laughs> <laughs> It's still two because when you're running microcurrent into your body, it doesn't matter what the program is. Uh, when you're running microcurrent, it still has a, a very specific stimulus, a, a physical stimulus. And so um, a physical response by the body, it's going to, you know, it's going to have some kind of an alignment. It's going to have some kind of, um, some kind of shedding or, or releasing and I want you guys to understand that these programs are built not just to increase energy around the structure systems or, or organs or cells um, that are misaligned, not just to increase them, those energies, but also to downregulate and I should say counteract the energies that have caused the misalignment. Now think about this for a second, because when we build a coherent wave, in other words, a frequency that builds upon another frequency, just like in the ocean or just like in a pond, you drop a pebble, it creates a ripple, right? That's a, those ripples, the way they move is a frequency from the peak of one ripple to the peak of another ripple is a, is a frequency. If you drop a pebble exactly at the right time and those waves accent each other, they get bigger, right? They accent, they amplify each other. So the same thing with frequency, when we have something that is misaligned in our body, and we want to promote the good parts, then we amplify a frequency that's in alignment with the good parts. Make sense? We, we, we send a frequency in that aligns with the good parts. And we want to downregulate the bad parts. I don't care what it is, whether it's a bacteria or an emotion. We want to downregulate that. Then we'll, we'll take a, a frequency that is counter, opposite. Because when we have waves that are coherent, they amplify but when we have some that are incoherent, they nullify, they neutralize. You follow me? So these programs have a multi-phase uh, or multifaceted um, operating system, so that they can they can rid you uh, of the things that are plaguing you or that are not useful, and then they can amplify things in you that are good, because it's it's taking the sample of you from the information field which is not subjected to your consciousness or your thoughts. 
<laughs> okay. All right. So here's one. I like this one. Um, if you don't want to do natural cycle in the middle of the night, <laughs> do you run the, the day before or, um, or after? Um, do you run the daytime or the nighttime? So these are things there's, you're going to get benefit either way. I'll put it that way. You're going to get benefit either way. But if you're looking at a circadian rhythm, wherever you are, the sun rises, and the sun sets, and the natural cycle is telling you to do something at 3 a.m. What is 3 a.m.? It's, it's not this cycle. It's it's on yes tomorrow's cycle. So run it in the morning, right? Um, there's there's a, a few different um, theories and trains of thought around this. Um, you're going to get benefit either way uh, because the uh, the ideal scenario is that is, is that an organ um, is it's got its it's got its um, highest energy points and its lowest energy points and so when you run a, a a program a frequency somewhere in between there it's going to find that balance and it's going to be a benefit to that organ in, irregardless. Okay. So, uh, Ken, actually, back to that question on the analyze two app fees. The it act, the the document is actually in back office. I just logged in. It's in the flyers section. If you log in, go to flyers. When you sort by type, um, and then there's a, it says flyer heal advisor analyze app two fees. Um, but again, no, no one will be charged for for six months and. Those fees are, it's, they're annual. These aren't monthly fees. There was another question that was put in here that are these the fees to access it per month? No, they're, it's a, it's an annual, not monthly. All right. Yeah, I, I've had some questions about that, about the schedule, the annual. Mm -hmm. And if somebody's, if somebody, you know, cancels well if you pay for a year you get a year all right um what else we got here okay let's let me go back up to see if we missed anything yeah now i'm trying yeah, i'm doing the same thing <laughs> Integration is key. Yes, thank you for that. Agreed. So, um, and Lori says, thank you, both of you. You're very welcome, Lori. Thank you for being here. Um, the When we're running things like this, frequency um, or this this alignment modality, uh, there's, there's always been uh, an understanding around um, around a frequency and in terms of um, emotion, because every emotion has a different frequency. But so a hundred years ago, Nikola Tesla st was talking about, you, know, you want to discover the secrets of the universe, think in terms of frequency, energy, and vibration, right? And everything is energy. The only thing that separates uh, the energy of the chair you're sitting on from the skin cells on your body is its vibrational state or frequency. So um, we are a culmination of so many different frequencies in these bodies and integration is extremely important. A hundred trillion cells that are sitting there um, in concert, agreeing upon uh, propagating life, agreeing upon um, keeping you operating. I mean, how many of you guys are in the corporate world or ever been in a, a a board meeting or a team meeting or something like that where you have more than two people and you know they can all they can't agree on anything, <laughs> uh, and yet you have a hundred trillion cells in there that's just like chilling and being in concert. So um, it's important to know that this that there is an integration going on, and these these systems that we're using Healy, uh, the Mag Healy, uh, are 
are working their best to bridge this integration between the information field, aka the electron field or the quantum field or the God field, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this three-dimensional space and time matter, material you, the stuff you can actually touch. So, um, okay, what else do we got? Jake, we got about five minutes. Is there is there anywhere, here's one from Rachel says, uh, is there anywhere that offers deep dives on each specific database? I love this question already. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, deep dive. We get this question a lot, don't we, Jake? Um, yep, you know, yep. where's where, where's the deep dive? Um, so I could learn in depth, perhaps, uh, from the program developer uh, that each program entails. So it's, I, yeah. Um, there's been many, many presentations from from folks and references to some of the developers, and some trainings like Nuno Nina did some trainings on that natural cycle. Um. There are hundreds of videos within the Vimeo channel. And, um, you know, I haven't been there lately, but uh, there are some older videos that really go into some of the content. Um, but then there, you've got a specific question here about you'd love to have a deeper dive, for example, into digital nutrition. And the bioenergetic harmonization, I hear you. Digital nutrition is amazing. We've done some training. Um, I can't remember. I think I've done some training on that. Jake? Yeah, a couple months ago, I think it was. But... Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's hundreds of programs. Um, and certainly we'd love to be able to say more about each. You know, there's it's it's a there's a long way to go as far as you know fully documenting and making deep dive videos on each of these program groups and also also it's complex because we're Healy's operating in so many different countries around the world and each country has their own rules and regulations as far as what you can and cannot say so it it's it's a little tricky to make something compliant that can be used globally. So that's we have kind of are limited by that as well because we have to be, of course, very careful with compliance and regulatory um, things like that. But um, there's there's I can mention there's certain videos um, in the past, not necessarily all in one place, but the the app manuals have some great information as far as the program groups especially the Healy app manual it's 48 pages something like that uh, but certain program groups it talks a little bit more about how they were created and what kind of who who created them and the, the reason or the more more details not every single program has a detailed description but there are many in the Healy app manual that do have sort of a lengthy, description sections like um, meridians the power of three those those kind of program groups deep cycle age as well you know there's um yeah i mean i've uh, so if you guys i've done some other trainings too you can even go to youtube and i think i've put some videos on there um if you just put ken close healy you'll probably find some things but a lot of folks that are using their own experience, uh, gaining their own knowledge, and then, you know, working on training or or sharing that knowledge, but it's not corporate. Okay, it's it's different. Healy corporate really needs to have a specific um, consistency, and also be compliant, um, because, like Jake said, it's you know Healy's operating in many many countries. And uh, there's a variance there. And especially in the U.S., we've got some regulatory systems that, you know, we need to make sure we're within the boundaries. And what Healy can do, you guys, I'm just saying, um, so much that we really can't say within the compliant modality. It just, you know, it, there's so much that it does. Um, and the benefits are there. Just do your own research um and then you know share your knowledge as as we were saying earlier as jake was saying too is that uh when you do a scan over and over again and the moment you read that scan you've got cognitive information about the content and it changes 
your frequency. It changes you. It changes everything about it. So when you do a scan again right after that, you know, information leads to transformation. Always. Trust me. Why do you guys have a Healy? Because you were given information. <laughs> and then once you got your Healy, what'd you do? You start to transform, right? Um, so this is my point. <laughs> Uh, you can't read those scans and do another scan, expect it to not be different. All right. Um, I think we are at the end of our hour already. It was so much fun. Wow, Time yeah. flies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you so much for being here, everybody. Um, I love this last statement. You are your own experiment. You are for sure. So continue experimenting, experimenting out there. You guys discover, never stop learning and always keep asking questions. So hopefully you guys got some value out of this. Um, if you did great, uh, share it with somebody else. If you want to share the, or save the chat, click on those three little dots next to the smiley face down there at the bottom of the chat box. And at the end of our call, when we sign off here, you'll get a, a dialogue box that says save chat. So click on save chat down there in those three little dots. That's another menu. And uh, you'll be able to save that. If you're on a PC or laptop, if you're on a mobile device, or just listening in, sorry, you won't be able to save it, but hopefully you got enough content you can retain up here into these big old thinkers. All right. Thanks, Jake. Um, anything you want to, last things you want to? No, just join us at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow for the coherence meditation with Marcus Schmika. And then again at 1 p.m. Eastern time for the the great corporate update call with Christian Dorner, Luciano Garcia Rangel, and Martin Whitman. Um, some great updates and a peek into the, the future as well. So looking forward it. to seeing hopefully all of you tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, have a great evening and uh, save that chat. All right. See you next time. Bye everybody. I'll stop the, hang on a second here. Let's stop this recording. <laughs>